not the most auspicious start to the day. Uh, pretty gloomy, but uh, I'm back in the Lake District, the English Lake District, the Lake District National Park, and uh, it's about 6 a.m. So uh, early start this morning, stayed over last night and uh, woke, it was clear, clear, clear yesterday, but uh, woke to pretty grey skies. But it seems to be low hanging mist. So I can actually see blue sky uh, and I'm heading. So I've just parked the car, a place called Dunmail Rise uh, and I'm heading up in that gap between the two mountains there's a hopefully you can see it's a bit of a gap there heading up there uh, to a place called Grisdale Tarn to see what uh, I can see and then potentially beyond Grisdale Tarn uh, Dolly Wagon Dolly Wagon Fell uh, which is an unusual name but uh, it's part of the uh, Helvellyn range so I'm hoping by the time I get up there some of this um, mist is cleared and we get some decent views but it's about two or three degrees so a bit chilly I'm looking forward to it and I'll see you at the top probably breathless behold the wondrous scene <laughs> Grisdale Tarn it is there you might just be able to pick out the edge of the tarn there but uh, as you can no doubt see it's, uh, it's a little bit cloudy and misty uh, so came up through the I guess you call it a gorge um, and, and if you're looking for nice waterfalls to photograph in the lake so I, I can recommend it there's lots of small falls a couple of big ones but lots of small ones on the way up uh, oh, but uh, yeah, no sign of the uh, no sign of the tarn. So <laughs> what I'm going to do is uh, push on alongside the tarn, and then take a left up uh, Dolly Wagon Pike, uh, which is a great name, isn't it, Dolly Wagon Pike? Um, which I assume comes from kind of the mining history around here. I guess a Dolly Wagon, something to do with mining. But anyway, uh, going to. Ooh, push on up the pike a bit and maybe maybe some of this mist I'll get above it um, and maybe I won't but uh, only time will tell so I hope you can still see me right see you soon <laughs> it's not looking very promising um, you can see over my shoulder visibility pretty poor uh, 50, 50 yards, something like that. Um, so I'm just below the summit of uh, Dolly Wagon Pike, which is just up there, which you can't see in the mist and cloud. Um, and I just hunkered down behind um, these rocks to kind of just have something to eat. Um, <laughs> pretty, to probably the worst conditions for photography I've been in in a long time. Um, the the mist and cloud is just constantly spilling over here um should be a lovely view but nothing at all um so i've only seen one other person that was about five minutes ago a guy ran past and uh within seconds he he disappeared now this keeps happening keeps getting a little bit brighter and then it'll get darker again so i'm going to kind of stick it out for maybe another half an hour um in the hope that that's a sign of the cloud thinning um but i'm just gonna kind of hunker down and hope for some clear in a second you know the, the sun's there but it's not great keep my fingers crossed Typical, isn't it? I come down off the top. Yeah, that last clip, the conditions were horrendous. Typical. Uh, some blue skies arrived, although I think it's still quite claggy on the top. So, and uh, you'll 
guess from the sound, I'm trying to make the most of these um, kind of little waterfalls that I mentioned when I kind of was on my way up. I saw them and thought they'd be quite photogenic. So I've, I've taken a couple looking that way. The, one of the challenges always with um, photographing waterfalls is you've got a nice waterfall and a nice pool here, but then you're looking up at nothingness, really. Um, you're looking up into bright sky, and although you can drop a, uh, a, a filter in, it just, I always think it looks it's just rubbish, <laughs> a bright sky at the top of a waterfall. So I turned around and I'm looking this way. <laughs> so m more often than not, you see photographs of waterfall with the water coming towards the camera. Um, so clearly here, I'm working on the photograph with the water going away from the camera. And there's this lovely kind of cut through uh, with the water running down and disappearing over the edge uh, and then uh, a across the valley uh, and there's nice clouds um, kind of falling uh, over in the uh, over in the distance so can I show you the composition I hope I can at least to get the idea I've got my waterfall down in the bottom third uh, and obviously water's coming in from Gonna, the, the very bottom swirling from the right and then disappears there's also you might not be able to pick it up here but there's a path running down as well so hopefully what happens uh, and it'll be impossible to tell until I kind of process the image hopefully what happens is the waterfall takes the eye over the edge and then the path takes the eye further down into the valley towards the kind of the fell in the distance so I've got my uh, polarizer in which is uh, taking some of the glur out of the, uh, the water. And then I've got a uh, graduated uh, ND filter in to take some of the brightness out of the sky because although there's some blue sky around, if you look across above the fells, it's mostly just white clouds. So I've not got a lot of, cla I've not got a lot of sky in the image, tiny, tiny amount really, um, but uh, just enough to kind of make sense of the image and uh, kind of shooting that way as the light changes. So I'm on F16. I've, actually that's nice at the moment, isn't it? There's some nice light falling in kind of different parts of the frame. So hopefully that works out. Um, I, as I said, I was photographing that way and then thought, well, let's give it a go that way. So keep my fingers crossed that that comes out. Um, and then I might work my way. Look, the sun's come out now. It's really frustrating. Um, but I might work my way down and see if there's any other falls, maybe looking back in this direction, but the challenge being what's going on uh, uh, above. Uh, but I'm going to take a couple more here uh, and then work my way down a bit. Well, that's typical, isn't it? <laughs> Almost back to the car. Clear blue skies. <laughs> uh, so my Fitbit thing tells me I've done 23,000 steps. Uh, I also take some photographs of a waterfall or two. <laughs> so it didn't work out, obviously, on top, uh, up on the uh, Dolly Wagon Pike. But you can't win them all. Uh, so it was a, it was a good walk, actually. It wasn't, I don't know, probably 23,000 steps sounds a lot, but it wasn't that bad a walk up. So just have to do it again. <laughs> Not today, because I think my knees had gone strike. Um, I did take some more images of uh, a couple of waterfalls on the way down, which I'll post somewhere, probably at the end. Uh, again, looking down, uh, uh, following the water flow down rather than the water flow coming towards the camera. Uh, so see, I'll see if you, you like them. Let me know what you think. Um, so hope you, I also I, I did some photo uh, photo some focus stacking. So I'll try and put together at some point uh, a, a, a film about photos. I keep saying photo stacking, <laughs> focus stacking. Um, but when I get round to it, uh, but there we go. Car's not far now. Hope you uh, enjoy the trip. And uh, maybe next time, if you come with me, we'll get some good weather up on the top, but uh, I'll see you for now.